Hi, it's Patricia. Welcome again to Twin Flames Merge with another part of you and the cosmic energies. I'm going to cover some, a lot of the physical parts of it. Uh, the physical is affecting all of us. We're all being affected. And a lot of people read things from various sources that will tell you the earth is being bombarded with cosmic energies, and that's true. And the earth is uh, receiving massive amounts of energies from our own sun, from the central sun, and that's true as well. And here's the thing. You're being opened up to receive it. How does this happen? Well, it's through various means, and part of it is what's already inside you. Parts of you are being stretched out, and as you've been stretching out, a lot of you may or may not perceive this, and it's okay if you don't perceive it, uh, but it is occurring. And, you know, some people lay down and do their meditation, it occurs then. Sometimes the uh, expansion occurs during situations. So as you get expanded, you'll have an expansion and things will fall out of you. And that's a good thing because there's somebody who's a transmuter that comes along and vacuums it up and pretty much will, you know, get rid of that forever. Once you do it, it could be the same thing. It could be bullying or a uh, situation that occurs to many people and it paves the way for it to be easy for everyone to get rid of that stuff. Now, some of this stuff is really embedded in us. So what we've been doing is we've been making our connections to the earth, but then we're making our connections out to all the cosmic places we've ever been, and we are collapsing those dualities. We're collapsing them, and we're pulling it here. Now, how do you get it here? That is actually what I'm going to show you. And I have a few things that I'm going to use. I have some props that I'm going to use uh, to illustrate this. So what I have, this is, uh, this is from my shop vac. This is the tube for the vacuum. You can see it's, it's got a tube. And uh, I live in Chicago, so it's been below zero several days. And I decided to take that little lemon and make some lemonade with it. So here's another little prop that I'm going to show you. This is an icicle. This is a small one. Right now my house looks like Dr. Zhivago's house. But anyways, you have this stuff that's been embedded in you. And there it is. And how are you going to get it out? You get this thing, and the thing that you may not be aware of is that, oh, you got all twisted up somewhere there. You can't really get that all out going to take some magical force or you know what some people call supernatural force or metaphysical force to do it but the force is not forceful this is the feminine energy she comes along she knows exactly how to get that out okay and this will this frozen embedded stuff will get out of you some of your tubes have really reached out all the way to the cosmos. And there you are. You got it all twisted and turned as you've been going along. You can hardly breathe through that. How are you going to breathe your twin? You will need to live, eat, and breathe your twin in order to fully have your abundance go places Pursue the endeavors that are the passion of your heart and make love. And so you've been getting untwisted. And you're doing this dance because you are taking your foot off the accelerator out in those cosmic places and you're putting it here and getting yourself to where you can breathe. Now, your twin will breathe into you. And you'll breathe into your twin and you'll feel it the breath is the breath of life now some of you have these are called channels some of you have channels that are maybe the size of a large straw 
sometimes that will take a shape which is very natural to it and sometimes it will be something larger it is actually I actually perceived this one night this is a what's left of a loaf of bread and as my guides pulled out something they resealed it and that's how they did it a little twist in the veil or the membrane is all that's holding stuff from getting out see can't really well crumb that out but it can't really get out of there okay if you're twisted real deep this is some of the cosmic stuff you can go and function you know you're functioning in earth but you're not really feeling you're not feeling you know that central sun energy you're not feeling it you can't pull it into your solar plexus you can't feel it pull it into your solar plexus so what do you do well that's when you take the time that you need to lay down and receive because it, whatever part you're receiving and let's say in this case it's your liver that's about where my liver is and it gets untwisted for you and what happens all of a sudden it gets in its proper position and you can breathe you're breathing in because you're breathing in that prana from as close to source as possible and a lot of you have done this and as you pop open as you're being blasted open you're expanding so your awareness is expanding your consciousness you're like oh I'm a Palladian oh I'm I'm from Andromeda I'm from Sirius I'm from you're from all these places it, it's gonna be places you never heard of but I will say this there are many um, planetary consciousnesses that we've uh, that have come here as star seeds to seed this planet and they've brought all of their gifts with them and they are the Palladians they are the Syrians they are the um, Andromedans the Arcturians I, I know I'll be missing people I can't possibly name all the places that's up to you to discover and especially discover it with your twin because this is part of the disparity between the masculine and the feminine she's a Palladian and he's a Syrian I mean not a Syrian from Sirius so you have possibly two different mindsets two different energetics and this is where you're collapsing those dualities into one unified consciousness the unity consciousness have any of you ever been a part of a corporate merger I was I worked at this bank and the bank uh, most of us came from two different places in town we we're starting up this new bank and after a while we were having this these culture clashes and locking horns on things and it didn't make sense until one day I said did you notice something all of the bosses came from this bank and all of the worker bees came from this other bank and they're trying to tell us what to do and they're trying to uh, do it the old way from the other place and we're trying to do it this way because we know what works or something like that and it took a while for us to get through these growing pains and meld into one hole that was our new bank the consciousness of our new bank because the intention of our heart was so very good we wanted to have this great thing that we had created and we did create it but growing pains and that's exactly what's happening here you're all here to see, receive something entirely new and your twin is here to merge it with you and it's taking patience it's taking patience it's taking detachment from those growing pains and so what do you have you have people that have you know af right after the initial separation we did go to other places now here's a beautiful thing people talk about quantum physics quantum physics doesn't even work without 
the love of the heart. And here's why. Because it's, it's vibrationally driven, for one thing. For another thing, all quantum physics is, is movement and expansion. Expansion, contraction, movement, and size. Okay? So you're expanding the size of not only your body, um, you're expanding how quickly you go or how slowly you go. So, for example, I've got these two channels, and one's this size and one's this size. So when you're making love with your twin, if you have something this size, naturally, this is going to open up very, very large, and you can actually take those deep breaths that relax you. But you have something that's this size, and the force, that'll just blow it away if you use too much force. It requires delicacy and finesse. And so you will have sometimes with your twin where you'll have the small. Now, making love is not all breathing. But making love enables you to breathe through all of the channels of your body and you're breathing new life into your organs, which is why we have these miraculous healings happening. Almost everyone I'm talking to is having someone that they know or someone in their family. It, it could be something simple like a 20, you know, what we call a 24-hour flu or a cold that normally would last five days is done overnight. And here's another thing to be aware of. The way that the energies feel. Now, um, the energies will sometimes come in and they'll feel cold. And you'll feel chilled to the bone because in order to lower the vibration, the cold occurs so that it actually is penetrating you. You'll feel cold. Don't be alarmed that you're getting sick. It requires discernment to understand that you're not sick. You don't have a fever. You're just receiving and then you'll burn off parts you'll all of a sudden feel a hot spot on you and you're burning it off so um this is what's happening you don't always need the mental perception because what happens is as you go through this you might have an instance where all of a sudden you're like aware that you were on this planet but something terrible happened and if you have this awareness, your mental body does things with it. And this is why some people run away from their twin. They'll be close and one of these things comes up and, you know, bops them or gets them. And they'll say all of a sudden, oh my God, this person who I love did this thing to me. Or this happened to me on this planet. I've got to run away. This is hurting me. These are not invalid feelings. I'm here to tell you that your pain is not per it's perceived by you and it is real. It is your real experience. But please understand and trust with your heart that you're the light and the love and this stuff is being taken off of you. It's being vacuumed off. Because we all love each other very much. We love our twins. We love all that is. We love the divine feminine. We love the divine masculine. We need each other. We need each other here. We're all bringing something to the table. So, while a lot of you who feel like you're dangling and you're already connected to the fifth, you've actually been sending out all those connections to all the places and... You've been sending it out dimensionally. So not only are you connected to the fifth, you're connected to the sixth, seventh, ninth, well, the eighth, ninth, tenth. The tenth is a barrier between the cosmic and universal energies. And I'm going to cover universal in another video because that's, that's a lot just on its own. And so here you are. You're covering everything in this solar ring, everything on Earth, our galaxy, the, some of the outer cosmos, and here we are. A lot of you are ready. A lot of you, this is what's mean by 
you're, you have everything inside because you do. You came here with it. You're ready. You've prepared. Now, here is something that I think I do need to suggest to people, and that is, as your twin is having these things removed, you know, here is, oops, that just got removed, okay? It's been removed, and, whew, your twin's feeling pretty good. And some, for some of you, your twins are starting to feel good, and a lot of them are feeling very good in their sacred area, in their sexual sacred sexual areas. And they're feeling the fire. And yet what they do with that is sometimes they will engage in another relationship. Well, there are things happening in that relationship which are necessary. And a lot of it is receiving energetic gifts from other groups. Uh, concluding agreements that they've made in these other places to finish something. Because some of it, this is the um, cosmic level karma that's being concluded. And they'll make these connections, and yet when you perceive that it's done and you're finished, that you've had enough and you think it should be concluded, it's important for you to uh, lay down to cut those cords. You know, and sometimes it'll actually feel like you've actually cut it. And you sometimes will have to help your twin do what they cannot do for themselves. Okay. Um, there is a lot more with the body because the solar plexus actually has the connections to those places. Okay. Some of you have five connections that have expanded open. I happen to have seven. There's no superiority with this. Uh, it actually has more to do with the fact that some of us twins, myself included, have literally gone everywhere, been there, done that, and tried everything, sometimes many times, until we, you know, hurt ourselves so much that it wasn't fun anymore. I will say this, though. That kind of thing makes a lot of you extremely qualified uh, in the sense that you have already forged the connection to that place. So once you clear it out, if you wanted to and you say, you know, we've gone to the fifth dimensional level of Earth and let's now go to the fifth dimensional level of Sirius because we We've done so much, it's got to be great over there. You can do it. But the portals are inside your body. They're not at a spaceport. They're not at um, NASA or, you know, any other form of outer space exploration. It's within. So when you need to connect to your twin, when you need to say something, when you need to tell your twin something, please go within because it's all inside you. That universe that you are unto yourself is inside you. This is not intended for you to flounder around here. And I'm just here to give you some answers for the ex and explanations of why you're perceiving all these physical aches and pains. Because I'll be honest with you, a lot of these cosmic level things are painful, they're baffling, uh, your mind will tell you it means this or this or that. Like your mind will say, oh, it's because of that food you ate. Or your mind will say, it's because of that person you encountered today and now you've had to vacuum them up. It's not always that. Your mind will say, it's this place. It's dark. It's got dense energies. It's actually not. You and your twin are actually, you're doing this in tandem with each other. You're actually acting like lightning rods and, you know, doing the electric magnetic and you're clearing this out for each other. So don't ever assume that your twin is not doing anything. Your twin is. Your twin may not have the perception or the awareness. Your twin might laugh if you say something spiritual. But honestly, this, this is our spirit connecting with our soul, our soul star, and 
uh, getting healed at that level. Uh, we love you. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to have more in another video. Have a great day. Bye now.